Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening from wherever you're joining me from around the globe. Welcome back to the Golf Pony channel and welcome back to another equipment review video. Now I'm very excited for this one, partly because it's going to be a great video associated with Vice Golf, but also it's because today is the day in which the UK is now out of lockdown so I can be here at the wonderful Grey's Golf filming a few videos for you that's going to come out in the next few weeks. With lockdown ending, we can now get out on the golf course, get out on the driving range and practice our golf going into winter and when the spring comes about, hopefully, we'll be a bit better going into the nicer weather. Now going into today's video, this is the third episode of our Vice Golf series. Our first two was the Vice Golf against the Titus Pro V1 and the second was the Vice Golf against the Chrome Soft by Callaway. The most requested video we've had on this series was to do it against the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X and that is exactly what we're going to do today. I've got the Vice Pro Plus golf ball in green and what I'm going to do is I'll put this up against the TaylorMade TP5 and the TaylorMade TP5X. Let's get right into it. So first things first, let's talk about the design of these golf balls. For me, I feel like there are three installments of the TaylorMade TP5, not just the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X, they've also got the TP5 PIX, which has a bit more of a customization factor to it, which does associate with Vice Golf. The Vice Pro Plus, what we've reviewed in this series is the Vice Pro Plus in white, the Vice Pro Plus in red, and then finally, this one here, which is the Vice Pro Plus in neon green. I have heard with the Vice Pro Pluses in these colours that they might wear quite quickly. I'm not going to review that specifically in this video. The final episode of the Vice Golf series will be reviewing the durability of these golf balls. Stay tuned for that one. But looking at the design of this golf ball of the Vice Pro Plus to begin with, I'm a big fan of it. If you haven't seen the two videos previous, I'll link them up above right now for you to go check out. But I really love the customization that you can put into the Vice Golf Balls. There's so much that they can offer you on the website for custom things for your work, for just your personal gain, for just having a bit of fun. And what we've had here is we've put our Golf Budget logo on it. The color is proper fluorescent green not just dark green. I feel like when I first saw this, I thought that there would be a problem in that you could lose it on the course. I will say with this golf ball, I have taken this golf ball out on the course in the winter. I probably wouldn't recommend using this golf ball in the winter because there's so many fallen leaves on the ground, especially here in the UK, and it would be a little bit easy to lose this golf ball along the, the shrubbery of the brown and green leaves that fall, on the, fall onto the fairway or rough where we usually are. The alignment line as well, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is very distinctive for the color pattern that's on it, so it's still very noticeable. So if you do like lining up putts when you're on the putting green to make sure you have that alignment tool, this is still there, they didn't forget about that. I do really like, especially for amateur golfers, we kind of do struggle with the alignment lines. But it is very shiny, which isn't a problem, but in, in sunlight I didn't notice there was a bit of glare off the golf ball. Going into the design of the TP5 and TP5X, I do find it quite interesting because as a on-brand golf ball, like the tight lists, there's not too much going on, it's not too loud with the standard TP5 and TP5X. I'm a big fan of the dimple pattern, It's you can tell it's quite modern in comparison to the tight lists and the Callaways, not as much as the Bridgestone because it's still pretty, pretty normal, but um, I'm a big fan of the dimple pattern here. The Alignment lines as well. Um, I'll put a bit of it up on the screen now to show the alignment lines. They're pretty normal, but the arrows are a matte grey with some checks in the actual colour grading. So, a pretty basic, nothing to shout about for the design, but when you go onto the TP5 picks, which is a new release in 2020, there's so many different options, similar to the Callaway Chrome Soft that you have here, because the usual one is those little stars that you have, but with tournaments being released, they have included ones for um, Roy McIlroy at Augusta, Ricky Fowler at Augusta, different just types of one that you can buy that are limited edition. So, TaylorMade have done pretty well here for the customization for these golf balls, as the same as Callaway, but the difference with Vice is that you can actually pick the specific customization that you have with these golf balls and get your face on it. I don't think TaylorMade offer that yet, but still, I'm no negatives for either golf ball. It's different types of customization designs here and depends how loud you really want to go on the golf course. I have talked about the technology for the Vice Pro Plus quite a lot in the last two episodes and the TP5 and TP5X, there's not too much to talk about but let's go back to the studio where I can talk in a little bit more detail about the Vice Pro Plus and the TP5 and TP5X. So let's quickly talk about the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X. These golf balls are renowned for being the most popular and used on tour by the likes of Dustin Johnson, Ricky Fowler and Rory McIlroy. It's said to be the only five layer golf ball on tour so there's a lot to come by here. The TP5 and TP5X features a new tri-fast core within its five layers of construction which means maximum distance and a low amount of drag. It's also said that this ball includes a new speed layer system which means maximum ball speed and you still get maximum distance when playing into the wind. So this is pounding distance for both types of golf ball here. 
In terms of the difference between the TP5 and TP5X, the TP5X is said to be more of a high launch angle and a lower spin, but you still get high wedge spin, whereas the TP5 is more of a mid launch angle with the highest amount of spin on that wedge spin. So similar to the Titleist Pro V1 and Titleist Pro V1X, there's a difference here in the TP5X being the lower spin model. But what Taylor has said here is that it's not technically a lower spin model, it just produces a more piercing flight on drivers, and then with the iron shots, you do maybe get a little bit higher spin still with the wedges but the mid to low irons you still get lower spin. The Vice Pro Plus golf ball is a little bit different so it's a four piece rather than a five piece golf ball and it's made for people who hit it a long way so with an average of 250 yards carry with the driver. It has an extremely thin urethane core but then you can still produce extremely high wedge spinning shots around the green. This golf ball has a size increased high energy speed core for maximum driver distance and ball speed. As well as this, it also produces low launch and low spin, so this really is a bomber's ball. In terms of durability, this is a highly durable 336 dimple design, which I will test in the next video. The understanding that I've got with the technology here will make me think that the Vice Pro Plus is going to be the lowest spin out of all the golf balls with lower launch and perhaps produce the most distance. Whereas the TP5 and TP5X will probably be just a little bit upper in this category, producing a little bit more spin throughout all of the clubs and just in terms of feel, Let's find out. So the Vice Pro Plus in green against the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X. What are my thoughts after hitting some irons and some drivers with these balls? This for me was quite an interesting one just because I was able to test the TP5 and TP5X against the Vice Pro Plus. So there was essentially a non or a low spin and a high spin option. And in my iron testing to begin with, this is where I noticed the biggest difference between all three golf balls. In terms of feel, the Vice Pro Plus felt a little bit more clicky, which is a trait that some golf balls have that some people think is a positive or negative. I quite liked it because when I was hitting it straight out of the middle, it did feel a lot more pure, but then on the offset of strikes, it was a bit more noticeable as well. So there was positives and negatives to this kind of attribute to this golf ball. The color down at address wasn't a negative either. I mentioned in the design, it had some glare, not a problem at all, but in terms of the spin that I was getting, I was getting quite low spin. So I'll put the data up on the screen for the Vice Pro Plus for my 6 iron up on the screen now. As you can see, getting a really good distance with the P770 6 iron, but the spin was quite low. Um, not a bad thing, but in terms of custom fitting options, this is on the low side. Now, going on to the tailor-made golf balls for the irons, I hit the TP5 to begin with, and, and instantly I felt a massive difference between the golf balls on the feel. I could see with the TP5 on impact, I could I could tell instantly on impact that this is a softer golf ball. When professional golfers talk about the feel that some golf balls have, I tend to hit a tailor-made TP5 and a Titleist Pro V1 and think they could be the same golf ball, just because I'm not a professional golfer. I'm not off plus 10 like Tiger Woods. Sometimes it's tough to tell the difference. This you could tell instantly. The Vice Pro Plus is not as soft and on impact, it's just a different feel completely. So. Neither are bad, but this one's a little bit more clicky and the TP5 is softer, so I would say it feels a little bit nicer, but then it's just not that much of a difference for me to say that either are bad. I'll put the data up on the screen now for the TP5. As you can see, I was getting a good at least a thousand RPM more for my six iron, which is good to see because it shows that TaylorMade and Vice have done, <laughs> done their jobs well here because they're both meant for different categories of golfer. So it's good to see the spin being a little bit more different than other golf balls. Like they, they are built for a reason here and the Vice Pro Plus is a low spin golf ball and you can see the TP5X going onto that with the six iron. I'll put the data up on the screen now for that one and you can see the data that I got for the six iron for the TP5X and the Vice Pro Plus was pretty similar, which again shows that the Vice Pro Plus more rivals the TP5X here. Again, both great distances in terms of dispersion that I was getting on the launch monitor here, not too much difference. I was hitting it really well with the six iron war for all the golf balls, so they're going a long way and dispersion was pretty spot on. But if I had to put up the TP5X against the Vice Pro Plus, which is the main comparison here, this one's a little bit more clicky and it feels better on the pure strikes, but it feels worse on the off center strikes. Whereas the TP5X all around has a consistent feel, but the pure strikes, I don't feel like you get as much of a response. So there's two things to kind of weigh up there that aren't really positive and negatives, and both golf balls have good parts and bad parts. Going on to the driver, this was interesting because, as I said in the iron testing, there was a lot to talk about in terms of the spin. With this, I was 
not actually getting that different of a spin rate between all three golf balls. So talking about the Vice Pro Plus to begin with, I will mention that my driver for tour today, I was just hitting it awful. I don't know what was going on, but I was hitting it very far left for most of the time. My angle of attack uh, was about eight, well, and my push or pull was about eight degrees left consistently. I managed to get to about five or four, which is all right. But yeah, I was going very over the top uh, on this day. So my dispersion wasn't great, but my spin was pretty consistently between 2000 and 2500 for all three golf balls. And you could rank them as one, two, three, with the Vice Pro Plus being the lowest, and then TP5X and TP5, which I did kind of expect the Vice Pro Plus to be the lowest spin golf ball, but it wasn't as much of a jump as I'd expect. I thought the TP5 would be around 2,800, and the TP5X would be about 23 but it's more about 100 and 200 RPM difference. So I'll put the data up on the screen for the Vice Pro Plus now. As you can see, it's not it's not, it's not not bad for the, the spin. It's, it's actually great, but for the dispersion, I was going all over the place. Now the TP5 with this is the highest spin one, I'll put it on the screen now as well. You can see that is still, it's still mid spin. I wouldn't say it's high spin. So for a premium golf ball, that's still pretty decent. So I'm not, I'm not too surprised about that. And then finally the TP5X, I'll put it up on the screen now, as you can see, right in the middle, slots in between the Vice Pro Plus and the TP5. Uh, still a lower spin ball, but not as low spin that I got for the Vice Pro Plus. So quite interesting. If I had to say which ball was better between the Vice Pro Plus in green and the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X, I will just quickly mention, I'm gonna kind of cancel out the TP5 here now because it is a bit of a higher spin option. And I think the direct comparison here will be with the TP5X as it's the lowest spin option. Still a great ball, but the TP5 is a bit higher spin, so it's more for someone who needs a little bit higher spin, but it's still a very good golfer because it's a premium golf ball. So yeah, I'll talk about the Vice Pro Plus and the TP5X now. The difference I only feel like is that on is, is within the irons really. That's the only notable thing I will ever say about these two golf balls is that I could tell a massive difference in striking between the Vice Pro Plus and the TP5X. The TP5 all around was just a little bit smoother, whereas the Vice Pro Plus was more notable when you didn't hit very good strikes. When you hit it out of the middle, it was much more pleasing. So that's the main thing I wanna say here. I can't really give an accurate judgment as to which ball I think is better because it's all down to what you would prefer. If you're consistently hitting it out the middle of the club face every single time, I would say go for the Vice Pro Plus because you're gonna get that really positive response. Whereas if you're still, and as we all probably are, single to mid to high single figure handicaps, the TP5X is probably better because you're gonna have that all around feel, but it's a tough one. The one thing I will mention is the price. The TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X have an RRP of 50 pounds, whereas the Vice Pro Plus golf balls, you can get just under 40 pounds. And if you buy in bulk, you can get it even cheaper than that. So the main thing with price is that there's a 10 pounds, about 20% difference with these two golf balls. And I've been saying that there's not that much difference between the two. So the main factor here is that 10 pounds difference. I wouldn't say there's that much to concentrate on in terms of the actual performance because these both are two exceptional performing golf balls. And uh, again, hats off to Vice, the way in which they've been able to make themselves a top quality brand going on the market quite recently and being able to rival TaylorMade, Callaway and Titleist all in a very short amount of time, having an exceptional golf ball with the customization that you can offer and getting top class performance here on this launch monitor compared to golf balls that have been around for several decades. This has been a very interesting video because I just don't think there's too much to go by for difference between the golf balls. They're all really positive golf balls to use, but again, it, I think it depends as to what handicap range you are. I feel like the Vice Pro Plus is probably suited to the lower handicap players, whereas the TP5 and TP5 bets can be used more for an all around player, which I think is completely correct. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. It's really interesting to test out golf balls. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you hit a like down below so that I can continue doing these going into 2021. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our equipment news, accessory news, PGA Tour news, challenges, and much, much more. If you guys have any questions about the Vice Pro Plus Golf Ball and the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X Golf Ball in terms of customization, performance, price, let me know down in the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have coming up to Christmas. I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you.